Welcome back. I'm Mike Redman here to get you through the certification exams that you are attempting and the cybersecurity world that you need to navigate through. If you're new here, I'll explain how it works. I take requests each week from the comments below and then select the next week's videos. If you like what you see and hear, be sure to hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode. We're continuing to move through the CISSP exam, Domain 2, Asset Security. As we continue through our review of the CISSP exam, we have made it to asset management. When it comes to asset management, you must adopt standards to be able to ensure that you can identify, record, and locate all critical assets. That includes both hard and soft inventories. The hard inventories are things like paper and printers and toner, whereas soft inventory is like operating systems and photo software or spreadsheets. This is the task of configuration management, the process of linking relationships between the inventory items. Now, when studying for the CISSP, remember any time that you see configuration management, it is going to be an integrity-based question. That's why we do configuration management. It is all centered around integrity, ensuring the environment is stable. The standard equipment lifecycle process is what do you need, either for the business or to maintain security. Once obtained, you put it into production and then maintain it. This is either done by updates or major changes within the infrastructure. And then finally decommissioning it or disposal. A quick exam tip for you. Notice the loose theme of plan, do, check, act. Next, let's talk about data remnants. Quite simply, data remnants is the physical information that remains despite being deleted or erased by some other process. That data is still susceptible to instantiation, which is really just a fancy word for disclosure. To prevent data remnants, especially when it comes to hard drives, we either clear and sanitize, purge, or destruct. To clear or sanitize means that we're going to manipulate the data left behind to make it difficult or nearly impossible to be reconstituted. Next, purging is removing the data from the medium to eliminate the recovery by any known technique, such as dehousing. And then finally, data destruction, completely destroying the medium itself, either grinding it through a pulverizer or an incinerator. Other concerns that maintain when it comes to data remnants is cloud storage. Cloud storage poses a concern with ensuring data is actually deleted and that it isn't accidentally available elsewhere. This is where a technique called crypto shredding will come in. Now, depending on what type of hard drive you're dealing with, will make the difference in how you choose to clear or purge that data. Standard hard disks simply contain magnetic fast spinning plates. They can be cleared or purged or destroyed. However, the emerging popularity of solid state drives causes more of an issue. Because they're non-magnetic, normal procedures just won't work. These you must crypto shred. And here's another exam tip for you. Pay attention to NIST Special Publication 888. Within it, you'll find the modern standard for data purging, regardless of media type. That brings us to people and media. Remember that people mark the media, that's the marking part, and then the machines will label the media. Anytime media or data is encountered without a label, it should be assumed the highest level of sensitivity is contained on that media until shown otherwise. And one last exam tip for you. Remember, human beings mark on the media and then the machine is labeling the media. You can expect several questions discussing baselines. Simply, baselines are the basics of how everything is when it's okay. They are created before they are needed and updated as technology requirements and changes occur. The security baseline is the starting point of your security posture. It is what establishes the security current state. Some additional key terms that you should be familiar with when studying for the CISSP exam, data at rest, simply data that is not actively being used. 
data in transit, data that is actively being accessed and moved, such as through a VPN. And handling and destruction, data must be handled based on its classification, and all data should be disposed of when it's no longer required. Well, that's gonna do it for me for this video. Uh, if you like what you see here, if you wanna see more, remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And remember, we are a community-driven channel. Every week, I take the request from the comments below and create the next sets of videos. If there's a specific topic or exam that you would like me to address, just leave it in the comments below. As always, visualize success and you will succeed. I'll see you next time.